Dear viewers, we've had a lot of personalities on this show, but my guest today doesn't need an introduction at all because he's Dr. Subramanian Swami. A very warm welcome. Thank you. Dr. Swami, you are intelligent, you're a charmer, you've done a lot in life, not only politically but also otherwise. You are the best person to be a friend of anybody. But why aren't you the most sought-after person to be a friend? <laughs> because I have a bad habit of uh, not uh, appreciating illegalities. And I have a habit of trying to take people to account that people don't like. But is that a habit or is it something that's come within you or is it something that you've cultivated? Well, I uh, left a highly, uh, very flourishing academic career in the most premier university in the world called Harvard to come to Indian politics. And so I don't want to be like any other politician. I'd like uh, public money to be safeguarded. But you came in as the prize catch of Jansang, didn't yes. you? But then whatever happened with that? Nothing happened. Jansang went into Janta Party and we all took an oath in Rajgat that we'll never leave Janta Party. I kept the but oath. if you were to be in Jansang, yes. would have you continued as a would you say, a very loyal member of Jansang? Yes, I would have continued at Jansang. I had already moderated Jansang quite a bit by giving them an economic program. And I certainly would, uh, I am for a Hindu renaissance. I am only against the Jansang, the present BJP approach of uh, targeting Muslims. But you were quite uh, closely associated with RSS, weren't you? I'm not a member of the RSS. But you were quite closely associated well, I mean, with I worked with them the emergency, very closely. I but weren't you RSS. also some kind of a blue-eyed boy of Guruji? Uh, not Guruji, but uh, mother of Mule, okay. uh, who was the general secretary of the RSS. But yes. was the RSS quite disappointed with your later activities? Well, they, they, when I didn't join BJP, okay. they were disappointed because uh, I said that we have taken an oath in uh, Rajgarh that I will not leave. But was there an actual difference or uh, similarity between BJP and uh, Jansang and uh, RSS or were they all really actually very similar? RSS is the organization that controls everything. Okay. All the others are front organizations. Okay. So the only problem that I seem to have had with the RSS is that many of its leaders in the emergency wrote apology letters to Indira Gandhi. So I question that, and they don't like questioning mind. If Jansang was born out of the ideology of RSS, why not the BJP then? Because the BJP is from day one a party based on, uh, on hypocrisy and fraud. Because first of all, they had no right to call themselves Bharatiya Janta Party. They have nothing to do with Janta Party. Their ideology is Gandhian socialism. That's what they say in their manifesto, okay. which is absurd. They have nothing to do with Gandhi. They have nothing to do with socialism. Okay. And therefore, uh, it is all make-believe to fool the public. But what was Jansang all about? Jansang was uh, that time, uh, the, uh, why I joined Jansang, I joined that time with mother of Cynthia. Both of us, uh, he had come from Oxford, I had come from Harvard, these people are wooing us. We wanted a strong opposition to Indira Gandhi. Okay. And we certainly felt that uh, one of the ways of strengthening India was to unite the Hindus. Okay. But we didn't want the Hindus to be united by creating uh, hatred of Muslims, okay. which is their policy. We want uh, Hindus to be united by uh, removing these divisions like caste and uh, gender and so on. And uh, by the time uh, I, we, I joined in 70, 72 or 73, uh, JP came on the scene on 74, and then the emergency in 75. So basically I have been only uh, two or three years in Jansang. But because of the emergency, people think I've been there for a long time. But Jansang was basically born out of the RSS need to actually have a political That's government. correct, that's correct. But then you were quite clear about the RSS ideology before you yes, got associated Yes, um, I had a choice between the devil and the deep sea. I ch chose uh, jumping into the deep sea, which is that uh, Indira Gandhi was, uh, uh, in my eyes, a devil. Okay. And she was uh, consorting with the communists. She was trying to bring about authoritarian rule. And there was, uh, everybody else was collapsing. So at that time, uh, and they targeted me because I was against socialism and I was propagating it in my university lectures. Uh, that is outside the uh, course material. And so uh, since they were targeting me uh, along with the communists, uh, uh, there was no, no other alternative but me to, for me to join politics. But whatever that you are today, don't yeah. you think that you have to give some credit to Jansang and also the RSS and 
the later on developments. Certainly, I give them credit, but there's no Jansang today to give me. There is emerging the Janata Party. Those people well, one way of giving Jansang. credit is I would like to break the BJP and make them join Janata Party. But are you trying to actually do I that? I am all the time trying. I encourage all the BJP people all over that your present leaders have betrayed you. If you want uh, nationalism, you want patriotism, you come to Janata Party. But after Janta Party lost its fire, it was almost placed on your hands yeah. and you've been able to keep it alive all yeah. this while. Yeah. But what exactly is Janta Party today? Janta Party is what it was in 1977, a party which, was, uh, which advocated human freedom, both in economic and political terms. It's a party which uh, believed in aggressive secularism, which means not defensive like the Congress Party today. And uh, it has been, a fire goes out and comes back. It uh, went out in 1980, it came back in 83, it went out in 89, and maybe it'll come back again soon. If it comes back now, once again, will it go out? <laughs> That's the law of uh, Parivartana, Chakra, as they say. But are you actually working towards ensuring that this time the fire would stay? Yes, I certainly feel that if educated young people and the people, uh, and the party at the top, and not caste leaders, Mm -hmm. then I think you'll stay for a long time. In 1982, you claimed that within 10 years that you're going to become the PM of this yes. country. At least you thought that with your education and with your abilities yes. and with your influence yes. that you would be Prime Minister yes. material yes. Yes. in 10 years. Yes. But you're not able to achieve that. I nearly achieved it in 1990 when Rajiv Gandhi asked me to uh, take oath of office as Prime Minister in, in place of Chandrasekhar. 1990. 1990, when Chandrasekhar became Prime Minister. But then Rajiv Gandhi told me too late. I had already promised Chandrasekhar that I would make him. And I didn't want to break my word to him. And then again, when Chandrasekhar was having problems with uh, Rajiv Gandhi, again Rajiv Gandhi in March 1991 asked me, you want the government to continue? I said, I can't the, the change horses midstream. So the chance came, but uh, I didn't want to take it because if you, if you become Prime Minister, you should become with certain amount of moral sanction. You can't do it by betraying somebody. And that's why I did. Then uh, who can say when I'll become? So, but nobody says I'm not qualified to be. The only thing is whether I will or not, that depends on uh, so many circumstances. But if at all you had a chance to become the PM yes. instead of uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar, yes. why did you let it go? Because uh, I had promised him. I made him come out of the Janta Dal with 60 but MPs. But that's not your so style at all. No, my style is I've never betrayed anybody. It is have a, you not? No. You give me one reason, a person whom I have uh, uh, betrayed, uh, I'll be happy to but at least, you uh, have you, on that. At least have you not uh, worked with somebody and given a, if not a verbal promise to somebody, at least you must have given some kind of a moral no, assurance to I have never given somebody. a promise I have not kept. But whatever happened with uh, Miss Jailalta then? Then you were quite close to her after yes, all the cases her, and everything. Uh, I made her chief minister. I was a minister at that time. We dismissed the DMK government. We helped her to come, become chief minister. Then, uh, after the coming to power, I found that she had the acid thrown, uh, I mean, at least she participated, watched while her people were throwing acid on an IAS officer, Mr. Chandralekha. So, I asked her raised questions and she got wild with me and violent demonstrations were used. Uh, I was threatened, I was, you know, all kinds of uh, things were done against me. So, I launched an agitation. As soon as I launched the agitation, I found so much corrup corruption was being done. And that's how it happened. Then she lost the election. She came to my residence. We, we sat together and said, I will not withdraw any of the cases, but to fight Karna Nidhi will fight her. Even today, I am ready to fight with her. But uh, when uh, she came to power along with your support or whatever. Yeah, 91. But uh, you uh, did not withdraw your cases, but all that you did was that you didn't get totally involved with the cases. And that's itself is <laughs> That is an allegation. That's not true. In fact, I won one case okay. while I was in alliance with her, that okay. big disinvestment case. Okay. Uh, that was in ja January 1998. And uh, I was in alliance, the elections were around the corner, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I had uh, argued myself in the High Court, mm -hmm. and she was uh, found guilty and fined 28 crores. Mm -hmm. So it happened while that happened. This is, this is an allegation, people. In fact, you see, as an individual, I can't fight a case beyond just taking it to court and filing it as a complaint. Then the government takes over. Mm -hmm. Unless the court appoints me as a public prosecutor which the Karnanili government resolutely opposed okay. my being appointed. So there is no, no question uh, that once I filed the case, then my work is over, except one where the High Court permitted me to argue the case. But didn't you also somewhere say that you were quite sorry about the way she was treated by the DMK government? Yes, I am uh, with the DMK government. Is an but you were the one who actually wanted uh, her to be punished. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you humiliate her and then 
put her in a, a thing with rats in it and uh, uh, otherwise may... But what are you trying to do now, if at all you uh, win a case? Uh, I, I mean, would you ask for the same thing? I'm not to, to be put along with rats and... Uh, She's a uh, chief minister. She should be treated properly. She should be given... What kind of a punishment would you expect well, the courts to give? That is the courts to decide. The courts have a law. The laws are there. The laws very clearly specify what the punishment is. But somewhere you're also sympathetic that you also told I that, am. you know, when her government support, when her party supported the BJP government, you said that she really tried very hard to put your name forward as the... She did. As she the did. finance she minister. Did. She did. She did. She did. She worked very hard. Was she a trustworthy friend of yours, at least during that time? No, no, it's not because she's trustworthy. That's the one thing she doesn't have you, because she she's very uh, temperamental and she changes her stand very fast and we never know when she changes. But she has some good qualities and I, I've made it public. I'm not uh, hidden. I'm not saying it now for the first time. She's a patriotic person. But she she's herself has person. told on some occasions that she has made mistakes in life yes. and she has understood yes. and she has already that she has already paid the price for it. No, she hasn't paid the price yet. If you commit it wrong, you can't just say, I've made a mistake. You have to uh, undergo the penal provisions of it, unless your court clears. But there is nothing like forgiveness in your life? I am not uh, opposed to her. Where am I opposed to her? I, while I was, while she had lost the election, and she was out literally on the streets, and the uh, Karnan is hounding her, that time I made an alliance with her. That only means that you're not with people who have the truth. I uh, certainly, I think if somebody is in power and I'm not uh, in that power with them, it is my duty to oppose. But if at all you are in power with them and they are doing anything and everything that then they Then I will to. certainly, from inside, I will oppose. Like, for example, when Chandrasekhar was prime minister and he hesitated on the uh, dismissal of the DMK government, I said, no, we have to do it, otherwise I can't be in the government. Okay, but the thing is that why is that that you're really going after these two women, that is <laughs> Miss Jailalta and uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, because uh, because there are a lot of other men who have done enough wrong, yeah. but you've been yeah. quite yeah. after these two women, haven't no, you? That is not correct. I have done... Uh, or at least these cases are really... Uh, uh, today they are in focus, but if you go back the last 20 years, you'll see whether it's Atal Bihari or B.P. Singh, you know. I've done it for Lord Ram Jitmarani. But somebody. has there been some instance where you've actually done uh, permanent damage to somebody with the kind of cases that you've taken that up That is not uh, for me to think about. I don't think about these things. So I do the my duty. What's the purpose of taking up these cases? Uh, that's my duty. No, if somebody does corruption, okay. my job is to bring it to the notice of the courts okay. or the authorities. If the authorities don't take notice, I go to the courts. But don't you think you're actually capable of doing something or rather taking things to their, what do you say, legitimate ends? Yes. And most of the times that, you know, somewhere no, down the line, that's not my job. My, uh, 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 that has to be in government. If I'm in government, I'll take it to the logical end. No, but like the case, uh, the Tansi land case yes, recently. I, have. I mean, at the end of it, you told that, you know, look, the DMK government really Messed did not fight. That's true. But, they didn't, uh, but why did you actually give it to the public prosecutor? I couldn't. Uh, they took it away. They backdated an FIR and took it away. They committed. But if you really want to do something, don't you really think that you can avoid such things? No, it's not possible. I need the permission of the court. Only once I got permission of the court, that was in the High Court, on the speak disinvestment, and I won that case. But you're the only person who understands the court so well. Yeah. <laughs> but I was law minister, no. <laughs> But how come so much interest in law after your background in economics? In democracy, knowledge of law is crucial. Everybody should learn it. I would say, in fact, it should be a compulsory paper in any course on social sciences. But uh, are this you realized since you were very young or during your student student no, days? No, it science? happened because um, people started harassing me. First, they started harassing me with uh, defamation cases. Then, they, during the emergency, Mrs. Gandhi filed filed 18 cases against me. So now, suddenly I found that, uh, you know, I had to shell out a lot of money to have lawyers. So I said, why should I give money to lawyers? Of course, my wife subsequently graduated and became a lawyer. Uh, but uh, I said, I'm not going to give it to any lawyer, and I'll argue myself. So I studied the law, and over a brief process of time, I won every case I fought. Do you really have any personal grudge against Ms. Jailalta? No. But certainly you should have, because you, in so many instances, told that, you know, she tried to murder you, she yeah. tried to do this to you, yeah. that to you, yeah. and that means that you should have at because least I, I, because some I, amount of anger against no, her. No, because I know the circumstances in which she has come in life, and I feel sympathetic. So that makes you forget all those things she Not has done? Not forget. It, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it moderates my dislike. But there are people I dislike intensely. I have nothing to do with them. I have utter contempt for the Prime Minister. But you worked with her. At yeah. least when you worked with her, yeah. probably that you had some time to spend with yes, her. Yes, lots of time. That you could have certainly tried to change her ways. I did. You think that... I did, and as a consequence, her people around her got jealous. 
and they threw me out. They have a much better hold on her than I had on her. But uh, Sajikala, for example. But do you think that at least she would like you to be around at least? I don't know. Do you think that I she don't would? Know. It's up to her. I, I, she would it be better for her to be friends with you? That's true. She herself told me that. <laughs> it's better to be your friend than your enemy. Oh. And I don't. I would like to remain your friend. Isn't that what most of the politicians want to be? <laughs> <laughs> you mean with you're an unreliable friend, aren't you? Well, I've never betrayed anyone. The question of reliability will only come if I've betrayed somebody. Can be one example of a. Oh, person. that means you have to make a declaration that you're a friend. Only then they'll realize that. No, you're no, really it's something I have worked somewhere. I have benefited from somebody, and then after that I stabbed them in the back. Take uh, Chandrasekhar. I gave up the prime ministership. Hmm. Uh, although Rajiv Gandhi said that no, no. Uh, I mean, I have already spoken to the president. Everything is ready. You go and take oath. I say I can't do it. But sometimes some false claims also have been attributed to you, like, like in the case of uh, Jain Commission. What did I make any false claims? They said that, you know, these, uh, I mean, he, what, what were the, the, some of the claims that you were made? Were no, 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 Jain Commission didn't say that. The, most people uh, don't read the report. The report said, A, I refused to divulge the information okay. about, uh, um, about my sources on the LTT. Okay. Because I had enormous sources on the LTT. Okay. They want to know who my sources were. Mm. I said because Mr. Jet Malani is there mm. and he has connections with LTT, mm. so that I will not say it in the open court. Okay. So on that he passed the stricture, saying that I was not forthcoming. Mm. Second, he said uh, uh, these uh, so sources, what kind of sources are these? Mm. I said these are sources who are um, uh, who are with the LTT. So the question, he said, oh, with the LTT means they are members of the LTT. I said, no, they are not members of the LTT. Mm. So you change your stand. I said, I have not changed my stand. Mm. That was all. There, only, there is no stricture in some against me in, in, in any commission inquiry, leave alone Jain Commission. In, in some of the instances, don't you think the courts, even throughout your applications, like because, you know, in, uh, in case of uh, Jain Commission itself? No, Jain Commission, I said that he had said that I was not forthcoming and therefore was an unreliable witness. Mm. I said, Unless you take uh, under section 8, give me notice and give me a chance to rebut it, you can't pass these remarks, so they should be removed. What uh, the Supreme Court said is that it is too early, you have come too early. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, we will not consider it. But they did not dismiss it. But, but forget about just that, but ah. even in case of where you said that uh, Mr. P. V. Narasimha sought your help when he was the Prime Minister, yeah. and where you yourself after a while told that, that was actually not the fact. What's no, the no, 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 not at all. I said, uh, Mr. Nasim Rao, the government cannot survive if I don't, if I decide uh, no, to bring it down. Okay. So then they asked me in what context you said it. It was in some newspaper. Hmm. I said I said it uh, in, in a political bravado. Hmm. But uh, there's no doubt that Nasim Rao would not have got a uh, majority if I hadn't helped. Today you have more information about. Uh, uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi's uh, past yes. than anybody else. That's right. And why have you not been able to do anything about it? No, that's not correct. I've gone to court. She's being protected by the Prime Minister. I've gone to court. But I've got notices issued. Do you believe that the courts are superior to anything else in this case? Yes, the courts have issued notice. And the uh, agencies are taking time. For instance, I said uh, that uh, the, there are two shops in Italy mm. which are selling antiques, which are smuggled. Mm. Uh, and they are owned by her sister. Uh, they, the government first denied it. Mm -hmm. Then I asked the court, please ask the Interpol to give a report. But the Interpol has now confirmed it. But how is it possible that, you know, with all this, that people can believe that, you know, what you've been saying is actually true? Like you even say, Sonia is, an, is not a name at all. It, her name That's is correct. That's in a birth certificate. Then how is it possible that the whole world can't know it? I mean, if at all you know it. Well, that's not unusual. The world didn't think that they, the world was round. Uh, they thought it was flat for a long time. And the but man who said it was round, he was hanged. Do you know that? But don't you think it's been for a very long time that people have been knowing that she is Sonia, not Antonia, the way you claim? No, no, I'm not claiming. I produced a birth certificate. Okay. And the birth certificate says her name is Antonia. Okay. And her father gave her the name Sonia because he was in a Russian prison. Okay. And he was totally brainwashed with the Russian. Some employers of hers in England gave this name to her. No, no, no. They, no. Uh, the the uh, employers preferred this name okay. uh, to uh, Sir Antonia. Okay. Because uh, the kind of profession she was in, Sonia suited better. Then why do the congressmen just say we don't even take any of his statements? What else can they say? They cannot say anything else. But are they really afraid of If them? they are so non-serious, uh, take my uh, remarks. Why are they sending the former attorney general to defend her in court? Is, it, not? is it because you actually can build a case so big that <laughs> they have to fight it? Well, no, that's not possible. You yourself said you should have faith in courts. 
after all these courts, okay. uh, they, they are not going to find uh, my uh, charges uh, substantive unless there is some substance in them. They don't want to give me a in political uh, vendetta. You see. Are you proud that you're a Brahmin? <laughs> I, I don't even wear a pono. But that's okay. But may, on many instances that you even, you know, told about your Brahmin friends. And not only that, somewhere that you told that I take, it's a right of a Brahmin to take money. I said that a Brahmin is supposed to beg for money. Okay. And he's supposed to live on donations. Okay. That that's is what I had That's said. okay. That, but isn't that That okay? means if you take money, uh, then you take money not as a Brahmin. Not for myself. Okay. Ah, now, why does the Brahmin thing come in, in your case? Because I think that, I, uh, see, the question is in what context I said it. They said that, you know, uh, uh, how do you uh, support yourself? I said, by donations. They okay. said, uh, don't you feel ashamed to uh, take donations? I said, I can work in America. Mm. I can earn a lot of money. I can work in India. But in politics, I have to be the. I said, but the, don't you think that uh, itself is opportunistic, that, you know, when it's useful to you, that you might use something. When it's not, you may not. No, no, it's not opportunistic. It's Brahmin was not used in a caste sense. In fact, there is no caste in Vedas. Okay. Brahmin is a profession. Mm -hmm. Brahmin is a way of life. Mm -hmm. And anybody who doesn't follow that way of life but is not a Brahmin. But is that maybe whether you accept it or deny it. But there are a lot of Brahmin friends of yours who have been giving you a lot of input, supporting and so on. Yes, sure. So true. what? But uh, I don't... But isn't that... But I have non-Brahmin friends. I have non-Brahmin... In fact, my party is dominated by non-Brahmins at, okay. at various levels. That's not true. But it could also be true that, you know, what you're saying is right, because... Yeah, in fact, may I interrupt in you in, in Madurai? It's the Tevas it's just who one support me. It's Brahmins are just 1%. Right? No, yeah, that's right. And the support I get is from the Tevas. But isn't that because that you had the support of other parties with you? No, no. I have... The, there's no party which has won that... Uh, for instance, the only other party which I have uh, sought the support of they were, or have fought on the support of was ADMK. Okay. ADMK has never won Madurai okay. in its life. But you also had the BJP, though BJP had 10,000 votes, even that's a contribution uh, uh, to uh, it. What contribution? I, I, I can do without that. And okay. by, the, by the way, I must tell you one thing. BJP opposed my election. Okay. They, they saw to it that no poster of mine carried my photograph. Mm. They saw to it that any program that they held, I was not called to it. Mm. And they made public statements that he's jealous as ally, he's not our ally. Mm. You were given the post of the finance minister that you wanted to abolish uh, yeah, personal that. income tax. Yeah. Do you still stand by that? Yes, of course. You must do that. But why? Because it's the most corrupting influence, this income tax. How? And it produces hardly any revenue. The rich don't pay income tax because they have got all these exemptions. Poor don't pay income tax because they don't have income. It's the middle class professionals. They're all harassed. On this question of income tax, I mean, I can't force the government to do it because they'll make a mess of it. It has to be calibrated. Because you lose about 30, 40,000 crores of revenue. And I asked to be found, a uh, way has to be found to compensate for that. Is it very scary if you come to power? <laughs> you know, you really would like my, to do this, that, and everything. And my, my enemies are But scared. you must also change a lot of things overnight. That's right. That's is that, why that is the, my main minus point against is that, me. Is that why that a lot of people would certainly prevent you from coming they to would power? Like to, a lot of people would like to prevent me. Those, for instance, in the industry, those industrialists who are corrupt, who have manipulated the system and risen to great heights, uh, and uh, they would like to prevent me. I certainly think that the terrorists in this country would like to prevent me. Today you are with uh, Dr. Vijay Malia. I'm not with Dr. 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 Vijay. I'm in Janata Party. Dr. Ra Vijay Malia is in your party he's and he's, he's he's is the, he is the working president yes. for the country. Yes. I mean, is it a transparent relationship? Yes, very transparent, because we have absolutely no difficulty. I've known him for many years. He's an educated Did you man. foresee somewhere you might fall out with No, him? I don't foresee. Now, from my side, I have not fallen out with anybody. Now, if he wants to fall out, then you have to ask him. I have so far can claim and I can prove it that I have never but fallen out with anybody who I joined. fallible. Alumni. No, there may be. But, but that's, on that's this, the basic on, premise of democracy. On this issue, else. no, maybe. But on this issue, I have never fallen out. Okay. with anybody, including with Jansang people. I didn't leave them. They left Janta Party. Okay. Okay. So they Would it be always very nice for you to say, because even if it is going to be that you are the reason for them to go away from you, <laughs> that you could always say that you have gone away from me, that I am not. Yes, that's how the head has to be. But and then it people has to just fight with you and no, stay no, with you? No, no, no. No, no. They uh, take, for instance, Jaya Lalita. Okay. It is she who broke the alliance. Everybody uh, knows that. Okay. She wants to rejoin, then she'll have to uh, explain why she broke it in the first place. 
So I don't think that would be a problem from my side. What is that actually nice with you? <laughs> I am truthful. You know exactly where I stand. You seem to be having grudge against a lot of things and institutions no and grudge. people that you... Because people think that even about IIT, that you have a little bit of grudge. Because so there's because no IIT grudge. The IIT had to eat humble pie in my case. They threw me out because the Mrs. Gandhi wanted me thrown but out. Aren't you being a little and I won, I won a things. case. I won the case and I came back, was reinstated. Not only that, I was a member of the Board of Governors, the very board which had sacked me. But you want to ultimately show to people that you are intelligent? That no, you know, there have been even cases no, when you have just, for example, if you transferred a case from somewhere to somewhere else, that you would say, look, I've done that. I, I, I am, don't have to show anybody I'm intelligent. I am, and everybody knows that. The thing that I would like to show is that an individual can fight back. Hmm. People think individuals can't fight back. I want to demonstrate that the individual has that power in hmm. a democracy. You have criticized a lot of people. Yeah. When you look at yourself in the mirror every morning, yeah. do you criticize yourself too? Well, I'm ready to accept criticism, but uh, I have Have you done something about yourself in terms of, you know, look, I mean, at least it's time that we'll... Let me allow other people to live. <laughs> well, if they don't get in my way, they all live. The only people who, get, <laughs> who don't live uh, easily, comfortably, are those who cross my path and... Uh, and then uh, take a fight with me. If you have something to hide, don't fight with me. But you also know that finding fault is not a virtue. I'm not finding fault. I prosecute. But there are times I don't say that this is wrong about you. That there is are wrong times about. that you got information about people's faults through your friends yes. and your contacts. Yes. So yeah, you think that I never use them. Virtue? I knew them. I have got enormous dossiers on so many people. But I don't use them. But only when it doesn't work in your No, no. I, I certainly, if someone is my enemy, I will not leave him. But yeah. why would somebody become your enemy? Uh, God knows. Knowing very well. well God I'm knows. sure that nobody would choose to become your enemy. Well, not anymore. Not. But at that time, uh, in the early stages of my political career, people thought, oh, this guy, you know, he doesn't have anything of his own. We can wipe him out. Are you and that's why they were huh? about, Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, no, you no. completed. No, I said that when people thought that I was a nobody, that time they took shots at me. And then they learned the hard way. There are shyster lawyers who filed defamation cases against me. I made them cry in court. Uh, but now nobody wants to file cases against me. So therefore, uh, these things have to uh, be demonstrated. What do you really want to do with Janta Party? Are you really serious about this party? Well, otherwise, why should I be in it? No, in the sense, that's a political front for you. Because, no, you know, no. there had been allegations or rather complaints that, look, he really doesn't have a political base and he yes, always sure. does piriding. No, I have not done any piggy riding in my life. I have uh, always worked very hard. And uh, I could have easily joined, like everybody else, in one of the big parties. But I didn't. I, was, I joined Jansang. Jansang merged into Janta Party. I remained in Janta Party. You should appreciate that. But don't you think at one point of time you were very influential and powerful? You were. Yeah. But after that, it got to It goes back. in cycles. It'll come back. But have you made any constant and continuous efforts? To I, work for, I work for ideas. Okay. Those have not changed. I worked for market economy the day I entered politics. I've achieved it. I worked for better relations with Israel. I've achieved it. I worked for better relations with China. I've achieved it. I wanted uh, Kailash Mansur to be opened. I got, I've achieved it. I have achieved most of the targets I've set for myself. Today, I would like Janta Party to be revived. That's my target. That's but what today I'm you're working with Mulayam Singh Yadav, David.
ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಈ ವಾರದ ಜೇಡ್ರಬಲೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಈ ವಾರದ ಜೇಡ್ರಬಲೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳು ಚಿಕ್ಕಮಗಳೂರು ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದ ಶಾಸಕರಾಗಿರುವ ಮತ್ತು ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಸಂವರ್ಧನಾ ಪೀಠದ ಹೋರಾಟಗಾರರಾಗಿರುವ ಶ್ರೀ ರವಿಯವರು ಮತ್ತು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕೋಮು ಸೌಹಾರ್ದ ವೇದಿಕೆಯ ಸಂಚಾಲಕಿಯಾಗಿರುವ ಮತ್ತು ಪತ್ರಕರ್ತೆಯಾಗಿರುವ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಗೌರಿ ಲಂಕೇಶ್ ಅವರು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಈಗ ಈ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠ ಅಥವಾ ಬಾಬಾ ಬುಡನ್ಗಿರಿಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ವಿವಾದ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಹುಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕಿರೋದ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವಂತೂ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕಿಲ್ಲ ಬೇರೆಯವರು ಒಂದು ವಿವಾದ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾಯಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಯಾಕೆಂತಂದರೆ ಅವರು ಸುಳ್ಳು ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಸಿ ಸುಳ್ಳು ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯನ ಆಚರಣೆಗಳನ್ನ ತಂದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜನರ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾಶ ಮಾಡೋಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ವಿರೋಧಿಸ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಆ ಸುಳ್ಳು ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯವನ್ನು ಹುಟ್ಟಾಕಿದವರು ನೀವು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ರವಿಯವರೇ ವಾದನ ಹೇಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದರೂ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಏನು ಅಂದರೆ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳ ಸತ್ ಆಧಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸತ್ಯವನ್ನು ಅಳಿಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಯಾರೋ ಹೇಳಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಘಟನಾವಳಿಗಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದಾಖಲೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳು ನೀವು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಂದಾಯದ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳನ್ನು ಪರಿಶೀಲನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠದ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖ ಇದೆ ಹೊರತು ಬಾಬಾ ಬಡಂ ದರ್ಗಾದ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೀವೇನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ಅದು ಮತ್ತೆ ತಪ್ಪು ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳು ನೋಡೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾಯಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲ ದತ್ತ ಪೀಠ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇವರು ದತ್ತ ಪೀಠಕ್ಕೂ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯಕ್ಕೂ ಬಹಳ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಇರೋದು ಬಾಬಾ ಬುಡನ್ಗಿರಿ ಅಂತಲೇ ಇರೋದು ಯಾವ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ನೋಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳು ಬೇರೆ ಅವ್ರು ನೋಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿರೋ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಕಾಲದ ಗೆಜೆಟಿಯರು ಸ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಗೆಜೆಟಿಯರು ಮತ್ತು ಮೈಸೂರು ಮಹಾರಾಜರು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಪತ್ರಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಂಪಿ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ಹಳೆ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಇವಾಗ ಯಾವ ದತ್ತ ಸಂವರ್ಧನಾ ಸಮಿತಿ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವರು ಅವರು ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯದ ಮುಂದೆ ಹಾಕಿರೋ ಅರ್ಜಿಗಳು ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲೇ ಆಗಲಿ ದತ್ತ ಜಯಂತಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾವನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಇವ್ರು ಹೇಳೋ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ದತ್ತ ಪೀಠಕ್ಕೂ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠಕ್ಕೂ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಇದೆಯಾ ಬಹುಶಃ ನೀವು ಅಪೇಕ್ಷೆ ಪಡೋದಾದ ದಾಖಲೆಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಹದಿನಾರನೇ ಇಸ್ವಿಯ ಪಾಣಿ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠದ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂದರ ಪಾಣಿ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠದ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖ ಇದೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ನಾಲ್ಕರ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಪಾಣಿನು ತೆಗೆದಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠದ ಮಾತ್ರ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮುಜರಾಯಿ ಇಲಾಖೆಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಹಸ್ತಾಂತರಿಸಿದಾಗ ಅದರ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಕಣವನ್ನು ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ದೇವರು ಅವನ ಖಾತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಟಿರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ತಹಸೀಲ್ದಾರ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇದೇ ಸಾಕು ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಬೀತುಪಡಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇವ್ಯಾವುದು ಸಂಘಟನೆ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಇತಿಹಾಸಕಾರರು ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅನ್ನತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀರ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಬರೆಯುವಾಗ ಆ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಿಗೆ ಆ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಾಗೆ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಬರೆದು ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರು ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಬಾಬಾ ಬುಡನ್ಗಿರಿ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಜಾಗನೂ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಬುಡನ್ಗಿರಿ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಆದರೆ ಯಾವ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ಕಾಲ ಒಂದು ಕಾಲಘಟ್ಟದ ಆಧಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಆಧಾರ ಈಗ ಇಡೀ ಪರ್ವತ ಶ್ರೇಣಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಚಂದ್ರದ್ರೋಣ ಪರ್ವತ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಇಡೀ ಅದು ಕರಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಚಂದ್ರದ್ರೋಣ ಪರ್ವತ ಅದು ರಾಮಾಯಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಪುರಾಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಚಂದ್ರದ್ರೋಣ
ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಭಾಜಪವೇ ಆಗಿರಲಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ಹಿಂದೂ ಪರಿಷತ್ನವರೇ ಆಗಿರಲಿ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ವಿವಾದಿತ ಸ್ಥಳದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಗಮನ ಹರಿಸಿದಾಗ ಜನರು ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಪಾಳು ಬಿದ್ದಂಥ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಗಳಿವೆ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನು ಕಡೆಗಣಿಸಿ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಮುಸಲ್ಮಾನರು ಆಕ್ರಮಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿರದೇ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ವಿವಾದಿತವೇ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಯಾತಕ್ಕೆ ಗಮನ ಹರಿಸ್ತೀರಾ ಈಗ ಇವುಗಳನ್ನು ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಗಮನ ಹರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇವರು ಇವರು ಹೇಳಿದ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿವಾದವನ್ನು ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಬಜರಂಗ ದಳ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಇದು ವಕ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ಗೆ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಪೀಠವನ್ನು ವಕ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ಗೆ ಸೇರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಕ್ಕಾದಾಗ ಮೊದಲನೇ ವಿವಾದ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಯಿತು ಯಾವಾಗ ಅದು ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅರವತ್ನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ದತ್ತಾತ